Hi guys, um, I'm not even sure of the date today, but I got this on 317. Um, the first part of this, I was just in prayer because I had watched a couple of videos about, um, of course, I get sidetracked by these date videos and the Lord really tries to keep me from watching those, but sometimes I disobey and I watch them anyway because I get excited and he knows that I don't have the discernment and I get a broken heart every time those dates come and go he just knows me um but this is a word that I got on the 17th and I'm going to go ahead and put this up now um and I'll try to tell you when the word starts that he gave me to give everybody but I did pray about this and I am going to put up the whole the whole thing of what he was saying to me personally. Okay, first he started off by <clears throat> saying, I will carry out upon your earth my will and upon your earth it will be as it was in heaven. I will never leave or forsake my own. Do not be afraid. Do not walk away in disappointment. Do not give up. Open your ears to hear. You must choose whose words you listen to wisely. And then he had me look up the definition of prophecy. And it is a statement that says what is going to happen in the future. And he, he said to me, there are many true prophets, but it is not yet their time that their words are to be fulfilled. Patience is key, my love. And then he wrote... I, I, I wrote this. It says, my scribe, your fear of man is not just fear of man, but it is a fear of disappointing me. I have much to say, but I see your hesitancy to record and share what I want to share with you, my daughter. Trust me that what I share with you is real. I do not tell lies. Trust that you carry within you the indwelling of my Holy Spirit, and you do discern. You have known all along and have disconnected from the prophecies of doom. Some of these prophets speak the truth, but it is not for now. Yet they, per they are perceiving their words are for today. They perceive wrongly, my love. They prophesy for a time in the future, and they have yet to grasp this. Prophecies from those that are indwelled with my Holy Spirit will not fail, for at some point these will come to pass. Many of these that share these words today believe that they are for today. They are not, and many will be disappointed when again these dates they point to come and go with no fulfillment of said prophecies. So, that was, I was just praying about things because I, I don't like to be confused and I, I don't want other people to be confused or disappointed. And I, I spent a lot of years being very disappointed season after season because I kept waiting on the Lord and I don't know, I just had that longing. It was like I wasn't really living my life like I should have been because all I did was wait. I don't know really how to explain that. Maybe some of you have experienced the same thing. But then this is um, what the word was that I got. It says, my daughter, yes, things are rising to the top so that my son, Light, and that's S-O-N, may expose them and much chaos and shaking will be occurring. But this is not yet the time that many will be gathered unto me. It is not yet my time. Do not be disappointed when the spring feasts pass and nothing expected transpires, my loves. I understand your longing and disappointment when these dates come and go. 
chins up my saints. For every day that passes, my harvest becomes more bountiful and my prize grows larger exponentially. Some of my children still need to learn to rely upon me in the here and now, instead of just waiting and watching for rescue. All adversities you are facing now, my children, are allowed, for these things shape and mold you. These things that you face in the here and now prepare you for kingmanship, for you will be asked to do many things for me when the time comes. All that my saints face today prepares them for what comes tomorrow. And all that you see and experience on your earth today is meant to grow your, your faith in me. If all you are doing is wishing for rescue and not living in my power, you are wasting this preparation time that I am allowing for you. I've shared with this scribe before that this would be a long labor. Labor is not necessarily fun, my loves. It requires pushing and pain, but think of the reward when the labor is over and the precious new life that is birthed. Open your hearts to receive the power of my holy, my husband just sneezed, my Holy Spirit in this day, my children. Do not focus on the prophecies of doom. Do not focus on your escape but focus on marching forward in my power in the here and now. Focus on maturing in me. All that I do, all that I allow, is all meant for increasing my harvest and my preparation of my end time army. Some will endure great disappointments when these dates come and go. Once again, and some prophecies will remain unfulfilled. Pray for these that are in disappointment. These are my children and I love them, but their discernment is lacking and their conclusions are displaced. Pray that these timelines pass yet again. Pray that as these timelines pass yet again, their disappointment will not be so great that they retreat and walk away. Receive my command, my loves. Be strong in the Lord. I have much to accomplish before the time of my kingdom on earth, my loves. Many don't see this because they fail to understand scripture. They understand one verse, but they remove it from its context. They replace wisdom and knowledge with emotion, and this temptation will grow as the chaos increases. Just trust and receive the knowledge that no matter what comes, my own will be protected and looked after. My own live under the cover of my mercy and protection. And if they stay focused upon me, I will only grow their faith. Stay with me now, my loves. Stand tall, for it is by me that all things are allowed and accomplished. My plans are perfect and cannot be altered. My plan will bring in the last, last sheep. And then I, I wrote down here, joy comes in the morning and it's M-O-U-R-N-I-N-G. And then it says, I love you, my children, Yeshua HaMashiach. So that was given to me on the 17th. And um, please prayerfully discern this word and all words you hear. And if anyone has any scripture, um, please post it in the comments. Now, he had me title this Purim as he wants us to understand the story of Purim. And it's found in the book of Esther. And I would encourage you guys to go try to... Um, look up and read the story of Purim. Basically, um, Haman was going to use, well, he was going to go after the Jewish people and Esther 
um, stopped this plan and they ended up um, saving her people. Um, again, I don't know if this is relating to, to today, but that's the feeling I got when he gave me this title that, you know, we have God's protection. Purim means, means God's protection. So uh, the, the bad people, Haman was hung on his own gallows. Um, I think I have that all right. And please correct me if I don't, but that's what the Lord was trying to show me with this. So hopefully you guys can look it up and read that story. Okay, love you guys. Bye.